So the Senate bill attempts to do that, and I think it was a, a good effort to try to do exactly what you're saying, which is that the rule of law requires us uh, to be able to, for example, 40 percent of illegal immigrants come with legal visas and they overstay their bounds. A great country ought to know where those folks are and politely ask them to leave. So, okay, now you've cut out six million people, and if you did that uh, from the, you know, kind of as, as, as it occurs, it would restore people's confidence. Uh, there are means by which we can control our border uh, better than we have. And there should be penalties for breaking the law. But the way I look at this, and this is, this is not, you know, I'm going to say this and it'll be on tape and so be it. Uh, the way I look at this is someone who comes to our country because they couldn't come legally, they come to our country because their, their families, you know, a, a dad who loved their children was worried that their children didn't have food on the table. And they, you know, wanted to make sure their family was intact. And they crossed the border because they had no other means to work, to be able to provide for their family. Yes, they broke the law, but it's not a felony. It's kind of the, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an act of love. It's an act of commitment to your family. I honestly think that that is a different kind of crime that should be, there should be a pay, price paid. But it shouldn't be, it shouldn't rile people up that people are actually coming to this country to provide for their families. And the idea that we're not going to fix this, but with comprehensive reform, ends up trapping these people when they can make a great contribution for their own families, but also for us. So um, I think we need to get, get kind of get beyond the, the harsh political rhetoric to a better place. The great number of people that come here to this country come because they have no opportunities in other places. They may love their country. But they come here because they want to provide for their families, and they can make a contribution to our country if we actually organized ourselves in a better way.